Hello students, welcome to my channel, Engineer Ash Ma'am. And in this video, I'm going to solve basic numericals of stress and strain. Okay, so let's get start from easiest numerical. First, in tension test, a metallic rod of diameter 16 mm produces an elongation of 48 mm. Um, <coughs> consider when a metallic rod having diameter 16 mm, metallic rod having diameter 16 mm, fine. Produces an elongation of 48 mm when subjected to 90 kN load. If it is subjected to 90 kN load, tension load, it is full, 90 kN load, then elongation will be 48 mm. Okay, after elongation, the length of bar will be extended okay uh, initial length of this bar length of bar is 150 mm that is length equal to 150 mm after elongation the length will be l plus delta l. elongation is delta l equal to 48 mm elongation of 48 mm what is given find the modulus of elasticity First, given what is given diameter d equal to 16 mm 5. Second is elongation is given that is delta L 48 mm. Next is load is given P 90 kilo newton that is 19 to 10 to 3 newton. Length of bar L equal to 150 mm is given. We have to find E. E Young's model is equal to pressure mark. Okay. We know that basic formula of delta L. Delta L equal to PL upon A E. Okay. So with the help of this formula, we can solve this numerical. Substitute all values. All values are given here except this E. Delta L. Delta L is 48 mm. Equal to P is 19 into 10 raised to 3. Length, length is 150 mm is given, area, area is for circular cross section, area is formula of area is pi by 4 into d raised to uh, d square, pi by 4 d square, that is 16 square, into e, e is unknown. The substitute all values, we will get the value of e in calculator. Okay. Therefore, this e will be e equal to 1, 3, 9, 8. 0.8 newton per mm square or MPA. Okay, convert it into kilo newton per meter square. That is 1.398 divided by thousand. Okay, kilo newton per mm square. A. The value of E for this numerical is 1.398 kilo newton per mm square. For this numerical, we used formula, simple basic formula that is delta L equal to Delta equal to PL upon A. <coughs> Second numerical. Again, this one is easiest numerical. Same as previous. A load of 6 kN is to be raised with the help of steel cable. Okay. For example, if it is a 6 kN load, then we have to raise this uh, load with the help of steel cable. Okay. Or the minimum diameter of steel cable. If it is steel cable, Minimum diameter of steel cable if stress is not exceed 110. Stress equal to 110 Newton per mm square. And minimum diameter, we have to find this minimum diameter required. So, what is given? First is load is given, that is load 60 P equal to 6 kilo Newton. Next is minimum diameter is uh, we have to find the stress. Stress should not exceed. 110 Newton per mm square and calculate D. We know that basic formula that is stress equal to stress equal to load upon area. Load upon area. Stress is given that is 110 maximum stress. It should not be exceeded by 110 Newton per mm square equal to load is given that is 6 into 10 raised to 3 Newton upon area is unknown for or 
circular section. Diameter is given. That means diameter of this bar is uh, circular. Cross section of this bar is circular. That would pi by 4 into d square. Substitute all values. You will get the value of d. d equal to 8.33 ml. Okay. Diameter is 8.33 ml. Again, basic numerical. Next is third numerical. Numerical number three. A mile steel flat, 100 mm wide, 12 mm thick, and 5 meter long. One flat is given having all dimensions. For example, if it is a flat, Okay, having length equal to of 5 meter, that is 5000 mm. 12 mm thick, this thickness. Thickness is 12 mm. And wide, this dimension is 100 mm, this given. Okay. It is given? Wide, that is P equal to 100 mm. Thickness is given 12 mm. Length is given 5000 mm. That is an axial load of P equal to 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Find to find stress, strain and change in length. If E equal to here, uh, make it, here is one connection that is 10 raised to 5. 10 to 5. Okay. 10 to 5. Equal to 2.1 into 10 to 5 Newton per mm square or mp. Okay. Same. Okay. Same. We know the stress. Stress. First, stress, second strain, third is, we know the stress equal to load upon area, that is P upon A. P is given, area is, we can calculate, P as it is area, cross section area of this flat is rectangular, therefore B into T, B into T. P is 20 into 10 raised to 3, B 100 mm and T is 12 mm, therefore stress equal to? 16.67 Newton per mm square. Second. This one is first. Second is strain. We know that Young's modulus, modulus of elasticity E equal to stress upon strain. Therefore, strain, strain equal to stress upon E. Stress is given, uh, already calculate 16.67 upon E is 2.1 into 10 to 5. Okay. Therefore, E equal to 0 0.0000738. Okay. Here, unit of stress is Newton per mm square and unit of stress Young's modulus is Newton per mm square. Both units of numerator and denominators are same. Therefore, it will cancel out. Therefore, unit of E, that is unit of uh, strain is unitless. Next is, last one. Which color? Which color? Okay, it will take the brown. Okay, change in length. Let me shift my window. Okay. Third one is change in length. Change in length, which is denoted by symbol delta L. Delta L. Delta L is nothing but PL upon A. Or we know that P upon A is nothing but stress. Okay. Therefore, formula equal to stress L upon A. Substitute all values. 
six seven length five thousand mm is two point one into ten raised to five. Therefore, delta L equal to zero point three nine seven mm. Therefore, elongations will be zero point three nine seven. Okay. Next, numerical. Fourth, a band of cross section, cross sectional area two hundred mm square, is axially pulled by a force p kilonewton. If the maximum stress inducing bar is thirty mp, determine p. If elongation is one point two mm. Is observed over gauge length three meter. Determine Young's modulus. Okay, a band of cross sectional area that is area is given two hundred mm. Directly area is given here. A force P is given. Force P value is unknown, so we have to calculate P equal to what? If the maximum stress equal to thirty mp, that is newton per mm square, and elongation that is delta L equal to one point two mm is given. Length length equal to three thousand mm. Three meter it means three thousand mm. Ah, uh, Young's modulus again. Young's modulus equal to question marks. It means we have to find two values. One is p equal to what? Second one is equal to what? For p with the self with simple formula that is stress equal to p upon a. Stress is given thirty mp. P is unknown. Area is two hundred. Therefore, we can calculate P. P will be equal to this thirty into two hundred equal to three to the six six thousand newton. It means six kilo newton. P. Okay. Next. Second one is E. E, uh, Young's modulus. We know that Young's modulus is e equal to stress upon strain. Okay? Stress upon strain. Where stress is thirty mp and strain is not given. So first we will calculate strain. Uh, strain. Strain is nothing but delta L upon L. Or we can use one more formula that is uh, delta L equal to P L upon A. P L upon A. Okay, we can use. Any one of any one formula out of these two formulas. So first we'll calculate E. Delta L is one point two mm and length is three thousand. Therefore, E equal to strain equal to zero point four into ten raised to minus three. Okay. Next. Young's modulus E equal to stress upon strain. Stress is six thirty mp and strain is zero point four into ten to the two minus c. Therefore, E will be seven point five into ten to the two four newton per mm square. Okay. So, with the help of three formulas, we solve this numerical. That is, stress equal to P upon A, or E equal to delta L upon L, and stress equal to sigma upon A. Or we can calculate this with the help of this formula too. That is, P L upon A, P L upon A, where P is P upon A is nothing but stress. L is or uh, three thousand. E calculate. I have to calculate delta is the delta L is given. We can use any one formula. Last numerical, numerical number five. A steel rod of twenty five mm diameter and two meter long is subjected to an axial pull of forty five kilometer. Okay, steel or uh, diameter, steel rod of diameter twelve mm, or uh, twenty five mm diameter. Okay, if it is steel rod which having twenty five mm diameter, twenty five mm diameter, and length is two meter, subjected to axial pull of forty five kilometer. Forty-five kilometer. Find stress 
strain and elongation if e equal to 200 gpa that is 200 into 10 is to 3 mp or 200 into 10 is to new fm written by mm square okay both are same we'll convert it 200 mp or 200 into 10 is to 3 mp or 200 into 10 is to 3 written by mm square i'll write here that is 200 into 10 is to 3 Newton per ml square. Okay, I'll require some space. So I'll write this Okay, next. First, stress. Stress sigma equal to P upon area. P is given that is 45 kilo newton, 45 into 10 to 3 newton in area, diameter pi by 4 into diameter is 25 mm square therefore stress will be 91 91.67 newton per mm square okay second one is strain 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 is nothing but stress upon e Stress is 91.67. Young's model is 200 into 10 to 3. Therefore, E will be 4.58 into 10 to minus 4. You need this. Strain. Strain. This was stress. And third one is. Elongation delta L. delta L PL upon A, PL upon A E or stress L upon E because we know that P upon A is nothing but stress. Okay, where stress is 91.67, length is where is length 2 meter long, that is 2000 mm, and E is. 200 into 10 to 3. Therefore, delta L is 0 0.9167 mm. Okay. So then, thank you for watching my video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye. We'll meet you next video.